Hi everyone. I got out some envelopes today that I got from a second hand store. Like I got a whole a whole bunch of them like this. And I was watching Marami and she was making an album using envelopes. So she was basically taking the flap and putting it inside the envelope like this. So I think I've made four, two, three, four. Yes. So I've made four on this side and I've made four on this side. So I've got two sets of four. So now, if I remember correctly, I didn't go back to watch her video, but I think I remember. And I think she stuck that in there. So then that, if I remember right, I may be wrong, but I, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take this other set of two and put them inside this one. And take my other set of two and put them in this one. And some of them are bent kind of bad because they're they're second hand, but you know that doesn't bother me. And this is my last one, and I'm putting it in here. So that gives us all these. Now, what does that give us? Uh -huh. Closed and open. These are closed. That's open. Closed and open. Closed and open. All the way through. Okay. And I think what I want to do is kind of try and get these so that they're flush. I know I don't remember how she put hers together. I just know that I want to stitch mine. So I'm just going to kind of try and get that in there. That. And I'm wondering if machine stitching is good or hand stitching is better. Yeah, they seem to flip around too much for me. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I've got sixteen. So eight would be halfway. Two, Six, seven, eight is halfway. <clears throat> and this is probably where I would... See, that's not even... That's not even joined, really. Hmm. I wonder if I did it wrong. Hang on. Try to think it through. Maybe I'm just going to keep going and keep sticking these in. Maybe that's what I was doing wrong. So, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, okay. Maybe I'm just gonna stick them all in like this. So then I end up with one flap. Yeah. So I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. I still have sixteen, so six, seven, eight. Eight would be halfway. And at this point is where I would do my stitching. So, because I'm kind of a stitcher, 
I'm just going to clip these together. And the reason why I'm making this is I just need a, a small little a small little journal. So I'm gonna make one. Cheap. Okay, so I've got to get into it's got to be able to fold. That's the thing. It has to be able to fold. So I want to make sure that it does. So I'll, I might have a bit of a gap, like in the middle, but that's okay. I'm just going to get my um, my stitching my bookbinding stuff. And I, I like to use linen thread. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to stress about where the holes are or anything like that. I'm just going to... I'm just going to pull off a little bit. Snip it off. I like to kind of pinch it so it's flat and then thread it and wax linen is sticky kind of because it's got wax on it and that's okay there we go okay so I'm not going to think about it I'm just going I'm going to go through the middle kind of what I think is the middle And I'm just doing a pamphlet stitch. Um, I'm going to make a hole this way, about here, so I know where I'm coming through. And I'm going to do the same at this end, so I know where I'm coming through. So I can turn it over now and see where my hole was and try to, yeah, came right through, see? Okay. Then I'm going to the bottom, going through, making sure I leave my tail, and I'm coming through the hole that I poked here, the same one, or tried to, oops, I'm not, it's not coming through the same place. There we go. And I want to make sure that this is on both sides of that. And I'm going to pull it tight. So I'm taking that off. I'm tying it off. A couple times probably. Jeez, I'm all fingers today. Okay. Trim that off. We're good to go. Um, I can take these off now. It shouldn't move anywhere. Hopefully it closes. And it does. Look at that. Well, how nice is that? So, I'm just going to put some glue on this. Right here. Maybe I'll use a little PVA if it comes out. I know I was having trouble with this. It drives me crazy. So I'm going to use um, I'm going to use this um, Tombow. So I'm just going to glue. I'm going to glue this whole thing. Put the 
lid back on my glue. And it is kind of, it is kind of bumpy in the middle, like where we've stuck those. I don't know if it's just the center. No, it's, there's a lot that's going on here. Like there, these double things right here are bumpy, but not bad, not bad. And they still slide out, see? So, I'm just wondering if I shouldn't tuck a little glue in there. Maybe I will. These are secure. These are not. See, this will pull out. So, and I don't want that. So I'm just going to slip it out just a wee bit. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue along here. And I'm going to slip it, slip it back underneath. And that should be good. Those are good. This will slip out, see? Yeah, so I'm just going to pull this out a bit. I'm just going to slip some glue in here. Push this down so that it glues. I'm just going to keep going. This one seems to be doing it as well. So I'm just going to add some glue here. Just slip that in. Now I'm going to turn it around. This is gluing. I thought I knew what I was doing. I don't. <laughs> it's just a guessing game. So that's okay. I'm just going to slip this out a little bit. I'm going to add a little glue in here. Just kind of push that back in there. And I flipped it over, so we're coming back the other way. And this wants to slide out up there. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on each side here so that it can't slide out. This one wants to slide out. Okay, we're back to doing this side now. So I'm just going to slip this in a little bit. Hmm. Flip that. That's all one piece. And this looks like it's glued. Uh, not all the way. So I'm just adding some glue in there. Working with envelopes is a little bit tricky. Well, it can be. And I think I just want to make sure I don't glue my papers together. <laughs> There's one that's sticking out. I don't like that. Hmm. It didn't quite get glued right. That's okay. I'm just going to help it along.
I think it's a pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Just a bit of a gap. That's okay. Something, what I like about the Tombow glue is that, you know, if it gets on somewhere you don't want and it's dry, it just rubs off. I like that. Yeah, it's all good. Looks like it's all good. Yeah. So, I was thinking I'd like to cover it. I don't know with what. Um, so that gives me 16, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, and 32. Front to back it's 32 pages, which is a pretty good size um, little journal. Like this, this can go in my purse. That's how that's how small it is. So, um, I wanted to decorate it a little bit. Um, I'm not sure with what, but we're going to look. <clears throat> I got these scraps. A fabric, um, just like remnant pieces. I'm just wondering, like some of these are pretty nice, especially for what I'm going to use it for. sure what else I have in here because I haven't really looked hard. Oh, there's a nice piece here that might go with that. Unless it's the same. I hope it's not. Oh, oh, well, I don't know. This might just be what I want. So sometimes when you look, you find what you really like. See, I like that. That might take, you know, a couple of glues. I think I'll do it this way. I want to make sure I don't have the salvage edge on because it shows through. And now I need my Eileen's tacky because that's what really works for me. So I'll bring that out. And isn't that pretty? I really like that. And I kind of like the 
I'm going to cut this salvage edge off too. I don't know how much of this I'm using, so I'm just going to cut the salvage off. This is um, some remnant pieces that I got from a upholstery place here in Canada. I think that I think this is beautiful. So I'm just going to how much do I need over here? I think I'll overlap with the I like the the way they've done the edges. So yeah, and then that'll come in. Kind of center this. I think that's going to work great. So I'm just going to try and straighten this out. I hope I'm in frame. Wow. And it's pretty bright, I know. So I want to glue approximately this much, so I'm just going to dab along. Like you don't need lots of glue when you're gluing fabric, but you don't want it to come apart either. So I'm just going to, I don't want lumps and I don't want it coming through the front. So. I'm just going to overlap this. To about there. Oh yeah, it's coming through. But that's alright. Okay, it's alright. And again, uh, Aileen's does the same thing. It just comes off. So, I have to give that a bit of a dry. And of course my son was here, so everything's unplugged. And everything's out of its place. I'll just get plugged in here. Okay, I'm going to stop there. And we're going to Eight. That's halfway. We're going to just generally get an idea as to where this is going to go. And I'm going to add glue to the back side. Just going to lay it down. It's kind of oozing out a little bit. Okay, we'll be gluing that a little bit, anyways, I think. So I'm going to flip back. more glue to the front. A little less glue, I think. And I want to add some to the spine here. So that's probably all we need. And I'm just going to pick this up. Make sure it doesn't stick to my paper. And go about halfway and just let it drop. Mm. 
This is going to be so cute, you guys. in the glue. See, you can see through. Oh no, that's my edging. And that's okay. I don't mind that. How cute. How cute. Okay, so I want to do the same to this side. glue in here. Giving it another little quick dry here. Well, that's pretty good. Okay, so now i got to figure out what I actually want to do with the top and bottom. And it's still not drying this vine. That's going to take a while. I just want to make sure it's not gluing my pages together. It's all looking good. Yeah. So, I'm just wondering if I can take, because <laughs> I like the frayed edge. I do. I don't know how much of this I can fray. Let's just see. Because it's been, because it's been cut the way it's been cut, it's probably not going to fray easily for me. So, I'm going to get some scissors. I want to trim. I want to trim some, some of this. Maybe about half. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, <clears throat> if I was selling this, maybe it would have to be, but I'm not. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to do the same on this end. About approximately half. And I want to catch it before the ends dry, like where I folded it over. Hopefully I can still do it. Yeah, I can, see? I want to fray these. A lot. <laughs> I like them frayed. So I'm just fraying everything here. Hmm. It's not as easy as you think. You would think this would be easy. It's not. When you want to do it, it's not easy. When you don't want it to happen, it just, it just happens. <laughs> but I don't want my gluing to come apart either. So, but I got a ways to go in there. I like, I like the way it frays, okay? So I'm just going to Okay, so I wasn't watching. I'm not used to batteries dying. My other camcorder went forever. Uh, sorry, I don't know where I left off. So we covered the front. We covered the back. I'm just covering the inside covers now. And I have, I have kind of frayed it, you know. Um, 
yeah, that's as far as I got. So I need to dry it. And it's kind of dry already. So I'm just going to close it. And I can see that this is too long for the cover. So I'm just going to do a bit of a trim. All my fraying is gone. <laughs> but that's okay. That looks great. So now we have to do the back side, which I'm going to use the same fabric. Be not black, but I want it to be. I'm just going to do this, I think, so I can get it pretty good. It's folded into itself, and then I'm going to take my scissors, make some room, come along here, and just pull and cut. That way, you can get a pretty good piece. And I'm going to glue that down onto this side. Get rid of these threads because they don't like to they make things lumpy and I don't like that. So we're going to lay it down. Not right into the spine, just next to it. And just kind of work it in. I've got threads all over me. <laughs> That's okay. I like to pull some of these up if I can. I like frayed things in my journals. <laughs> I can get some of this. It's kind of wet now. It's all right. Okay. Just let me grab a baby wipe here. My hands are really icky. Baby wipes for this should work. Just close up my head. Yeah, that helps. Set them off to the side. Okay, so it's looking good. I'm going to dry it. I think that's pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. So let's check our pages. It's not a hundred percent dry. I'm pretty sure. Well, Eileen's works pretty fast, but it's not that fast in the spine, so it'll be overnight. But nothing's pulling out now. It's been stitched and glued. I do have pockets if I want to keep them, but we'll see. Now that was quick. You saw me do it. It didn't take long. Oops, I've got a thread here. <clears throat> it didn't take me long. And I've got a back pocket here. Not that it's going to stay there. So, I'm thinking I would like to decorate this, but uh, I think the video has gone on like long enough. So I'm going to come back tomorrow and we're going to start decorating it. Okay, so we'll have some fun. Maybe tomorrow, actually, maybe tomorrow. Uh, what's tomorrow? No, I can't tomorrow. <coughs> um, my next video that I put up will be, I, it won't be tomorrow. 
hubby's home tomorrow all day so um, it makes it tough for me to to do videos when he's home because he's got the TV so loud because he's kind of going deaf so and I don't like doing videos fighting with that so um, this is going to take a while to decorate so I'm thinking maybe on Sunday I might come and uh, let's do a live and finish this up I'll do a, uh, a Sunday Sunday afternoon live like I don't know who can all come but that's when I'll do it so Sunday afternoon say mm, one o'clock one o'clock Sunday live and we'll finish this up okay I think it looks great Talk to you later. Bye.